Okay, so here we are at High Hrothgar. I have completely forgotten why we're here, but we're going to talk to someone. Oh yes, a shout that can fell dragons. That's the one. Also, though he's not here with me now, Miko is back alive. He is alive again. After I finished recording, I went out, found his little body, tried to find a place to put him, but it was upsetting me a disproportionately high amount. So, using the old console cheats, I just brought that little fella right back on alive. And now he's doing his happy thing, and we will continue to do our happy thing forevermore. In fact, I'll find the console cheat that makes him immortal and yam that on him as soon as I can. For now, it's High Hrothgar time! Woo! Hi, Hrothgar! It's a Hrothgar that is high. Hello? Good sirs? Are you here? You there, Arngear, is that your name? Yes! I, above. Voice within. I know your name, how impressed are you? Anyway, let's chat. Wind guide you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Mm. It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Oh? Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Absolutely not. The blades are helping me, but I'm not their puppet. But I don't think that fully quite conveys just how much I dislike the blades as well, Angear, and as soon as I can kill those bastards, I will. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with but heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. I can get that from Delphine's attitude. She is just horrible. So can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. What? It is called dragon rent, but its words of power are unknown to us. Mortal, temperate, infinite. This loss. No, that's wrong. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Mortal, finite, temporary. Those are the words. I've spoiled it for myself. So, ah, stupid dramatic irony. Anyway, that's not really dramatic irony if I've spoiled it for myself. Anyway, I thought you knew all. No, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. I need to speak to Parthenax, then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. Sorry. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Cool. I promise I won't let you guys down. I'm totally on your side. I will not become a blade puppet. The blades are horrible, horrible people. Which is a shame, because there was one, two, in fact. Roughly two, maybe more, but at least two Blades characters in Oblivion who were really nice, and I really liked them. So it's a shame to see that 200 years down the line, they have such insubordinate whelps within their ranks. Because Delphine is just horrible, and Esburn, I don't know him well enough yet, but anyone who considers a Considers Delphine a friend cannot be a good person. But no. Joffrey from Oblivion. I mean, I know there is a current Joffrey in contemporary fiction right now who is very much hated, but I assure you that Joffrey in Oblivion is just a lovely fellow. 
as was Boris. You'll meet them all. I'll do an Oblivion Let's Play one day, but... Ugh. These young whippersnapper blades. I mean, I know Esbern is old, but technically they're young compared to Joffrey and Boris because... That was 200 years ago. Ha! You cannot defend my logic. They are young whippersnappers compared to the blades I know. Come on then. A path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Um. Oh! Princess on me! Is it that? Tar oh God. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Cool. Look, va cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wee. Well, thank you absolutely ever so much. Where is it then? Clear skies. Do I have to spend my own souls on this? I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Oh, I will. I'm gonna save the world and everything is gonna be okay. Path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Ah! Uh, Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Baby, why does it have to be perilous? What's that all about? Am I back? Okay. At least I'm traveling light, so I can get any loot that may be around, but still, perilous. Oh yeah. Ah. That really is perilous. Okay, let's go back for the good old Fusrada, which is always useful no matter what. It would seem that my clear scut spot clear spies, my clear skies spell ah! ah Fuck, that's scary. My clear skies spell has created Oh, Oh, I have to. I think I have to keep using the shout or something. Shouts. Chris, guys. Oh yes, I kind of get it. Sorry, I don't think I'm taking any particular damage. Let me check. Yeah. And if a goat can survive here. Alright, okay. I have learned not to be so insubordinate and headstrong. I am going to have to clear those mists before I get too far into them, it would seem. Right, magic. Shoots. Clear skies. Apologies for that death, ladies and gents, but now I know. I will never take the words of the Greybeards lightly again. Isn't that just lovely? God, I like this shout. I'm going to use it whenever it's a horrible, horrible night. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it one little bit. And you, Goatsy, you're going to be just fine. I won't let you die. Goatsy? Goatsy, no! Levitate if you must, but do not go into the mists. All right, we are. Oh shit! All right, that wasn't as big a problem as I feared it would be. That's fine. Damn ice wraiths! Let's keep on going up the mountain. Let's keep on going to the peak. Oh my god, it's a frost troll. We're gonna have to burn it, or else we will die. 
Uh, no one wants to die. No, no, no. No one wants to die. Not even Joe. Oh my god. He does a lot of damage. <laughs> Gotta burn you now. Burn. Baby, you is out of here. No, 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 no. Good. Even at my advanced level, it would appear that a frost scroll is still capable of beating me into a fine haste. Haste. Ah! Enough of your chilling mists. I am creating ridiculously powerful Aurora Boreali, which I have decided is the plural to Aurora Borealis. Who is going to dispute me? No one. That's who. No one is gonna dispute me because I'm indisputable. It's the sequel. Fuck off. It's the sequel to the James Blunt song, You're Beautiful. You're indisputable. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> now you get your wraith ass into the afterlife. I didn't need to double that up. I have a I have a ridiculously powerful heal equipped. One that heals for 150 health, which is pretty much all the health I have. So to two-hand that bad boy is totally useless. This is reminding me a lot of the Alan Wake DLC I've just played, The Writer, where I had to run up a mountain shining a torch on the words that said clear, of all things to get rid of the rocks that were blocking the lighthouse light. This is... Well, I'd say it's the exact same thing, but in Alan Wake I was swamped by hordes of horrible, horrible enemies. Here I have only the occasional mildly annoying enemy. So, yay! Such beautiful skies. I can't even believe it. I think we're getting somewhere important, though. Because that mist is getting windy. Poor old Parthenax must be chilled to the bone. No. Oh no! Right. I, I didn't mean to walk directly into that. My depth perception must not be what I thought it was. I thought I was walking near it. Turns out I was walking right into the bastard, so... There we go. Oh gosh, what's that? Da, 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 da. It looks like we're nearing the summit. Oh, yes. Throat of the world, because this is where all the sh What now? Drem your look. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? My god. He is a scary dude. I wasn't expecting you to be a... Yes, I was. The name is obvious. You're the master of the Greybeards? They see me as master. Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I cannot believe that this is voiced by the same person who voices Mario from Super Mario Brothers. That... Wow, what a range that guy has. Anyway, I need to learn the Dragon Rend shout. Not to be used on you, I promise. Can you teach me? Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Magic. 